And we are back. Now, I've taken the liberty of... And I have no idea what the hell I'm doing here. Anyways, I've taken the liberty of taking us back to the slums building so we can meet Mikada. Now, while we're looking for him, because trust me, I'm gonna have to search around a little bit, we didn't get to explore this place much last time because whenever we tried to explore it, Kerberos decided to be a dick and just say, no, you can't do that. Anyways, since last time, I've gotten some new demons, as you can see. Let's see. I got this guy, who's pretty good, and uh, this because the two demons that I had before it weren't that great, so I might as well have gotten rid of them in favor of something better. Anyway, now since it's the first time it's really imperative, or rather it's since it's the first time it really affects anything, I decided I'd take some time to explain alignments. Now basically, we're neutral aligned, but there's also law alignment and chaos alignment. Now what do the alignments do exactly? Well, the first thing they do, and probably one of the more important things, is that different alignments can equip different things. So basically, law characters can equip certain items, and chaos characters can equip certain items, and in most cases, neutral characters cannot equip any of these items. There are some neutral exclusive items, but for the most part, it's usually just law or chaos. Now, the other thing they can, that uh, the alignments do is they can affect the demons you can use. Like, if I were law aligned, I would not be able to use chaos demons, and vice versa. If I was chaos aligned, I would not be able to use law demons. But since I'm neutral aligned, I can use demons of any alignment, and it won't affect anything. That's basically one of the big selling points of neutral characters. They can use any demons and pretty much just use them with no problems. Now, there are perks to being law aligned and chaos aligned, and uh, basically those perks are is that chaos characters and law characters, they can get way better equipment than you can at this point if you're neutral. So basically, uh, in the short term, chaos and law characters will have a much easier time getting through the game since they have much better stuff. But, it, what alignment you are drastically affects the ending. And the true ending is always the neutral ending. Anyways, here's Mikata, and he seems to know us. Well, hell no, I don't have any memories. I know, I know, I'm pretty awesome. Nah, can't remember crap. Oh, well. Why do I get, a fe get the feeling that we're not gonna get this explanation immediately. I knew it. Oh yeah, Shadow. Oh. Wait, there's a prison in the factory? Oh, well that's not good. Oh, well, okay, I guess I can do that. Hmm, well, this sounds easy enough. Oh, come on, I've got a team of demons here. There's nothing they can't... I can do anything, trust me. Well, except go to areas where the demons are really powerful and could kick my ass. Ah, yes, now this is basically telling you that there... Basically, if you were to search around the, Va the Valhalla underground, there'd basically be one point where you'd find this guy and he wouldn't let you go through. But, since uh, we are now on a mission from Makata, we can get by that guy. So, that's our destination. Alright, um, I think I'll just cut ahead to when I get to the underground, so uh, as soon as I can find the exit, I'll just, you know what, I'll just cut ahead from here, so hold on. Okay, here we are at the Valhalla Underground. Now, I don't exactly remember the path that I need to take, but it shouldn't be too hard to find. If you go the wrong way, you usually just hit a dead he dead end straight away, so... It shouldn't take me too long to find. Oh, he's right here. And basically, he gives you three passcodes, and uh, I've got these written down already. But they uh, are in... He doesn't have the exact order. 
But we have the correct codes at least. Now there's one thing that you really want to find before you head out. Let's see. No, I don't want to go down the stairs yet. There's something I really need to grab. I don't need to do this right away, but it'll make things simpler uh, later in the game. The Daystone. Why do I need that? Well, it's important. Basically, you don't need it for now, but eventually you're going to come across a point where you're going to need that Daystone. And uh, if you have it and you use it where you need to, it'll basically make things, um, well, it, you get something you need way later in the game. Anyways, we just head down the elevator, and we're now in this underground path. And Solar, what the hell, man? Don't you give up? Hey, I wasn't the one who attacked myself. Whatever. And this fight isn't that tough. Solar pretty much only does basic attacks. And since I've got a really powerful weapon, albeit a cursed one, he isn't much of a challenge. So, come on, Solar, die like a good boy. Ah, there we go. Eh, worth good experience, though. And get used to this. Basically, every once in a while, while from, now, from now until a certain point, Solar will basically show up, talk a bunch of smack, and then say, and once you kick his ass, he'll say, I'll get you next time, Colin! Yeah, so get used to that. Okay, now we're in this underground tunnel place. And basically, well, not in, right away. But soon we're going to come across those doors, and then we're going to have a decision to make. Basically, there's a long way to get to where we need to go, and there's a short way. Hmm. Actually, that demon on the left right there is kind of useful. Um, okay. Uh, sure. For a winged thing. Oh, they're gone. But anyways, over here, this is what we needed the day stone for as soon as I can get in. This shrine will be very important for later. Don't even try to get me to pronounce that. Koto Shironushi? Koto Shironushi, whatever. Yep, that's what you need the Daystone for. This doesn't do anything right now, but you have to do this later in the game. Why did we need to do that? All will be re revealed later. Anyways, here's where we need to go. Now in this area, there's a long way to get to where you need to go, and there's a short way. We're going to take the long way, because it has much better rewards. Okay, I think this one is 1834. Oh, nope. Then... 9192? Ah, there we go. Anyways, I think I... Oh, we got a garage right here. Okay, that's good. I can heal up real quick. Make a mental note of this place as it's... Well, it'll be useful if you need to come back here for healing. Because this is a pretty long dungeon if you don't know where you're going. And I'm probably not going to remember the exact path you need to take. Anyways, we want to head straight up through here. Or not. Okay. Maybe I don't remember this as well. Um, Go away. Sometimes I forget that I have the same demons and I can just get them to go away by talking to them. Let's see. Uh, anything in here? Oh, here's a new demon. The Yama Nightmares. Basically, these little demon dolls are well, not that threatening, really. Okay, you can get them to join you, though. Sure. Yes. Oh, well that was easy. Now I've got a full team. 
Yeah, I was kind of going for more powerful demons rather than a full team. Eh, this isn't that great, but hey, it'll help. Every little bit helps. Anyways, we're going to want to explore this place to the fullest, because there's some good stuff we can get here. Oh crap, this better not be taking me to the short path. Nope, just a magic box. And uh, I didn't check to see if it was the full moon. It wasn't. Usually I just ignore magic boxes. As honestly, I've never found a practical use for the things you can get out of gems. Okay, well, here's where the split path should be coming up. Let's see. I think that that's the code for this door. Aha! I remembered this time. Okay, I think that's the short path. We want to go this way. Oh, no, no, no. We want to ignore this. Forget it. We want to ignore this door. No! The door, if we go through that door, we'll just head straight to where we need to go. With little fanfare. Okay, now some of these boxes have incenses, so we're going to want to be on the lookout for those boxes. Okay, what's in here? Just trying to explore every... Oh, I didn't know there was a Jackie Manor in here. Oh, well, that's useful to know. In case I need to do any emergency fusing, that'll be handy. Nothing in here. Now be careful, because there's some really tough enemies that you can find in here if you're not prepared. These angels are the least of our worries. However, I think in this area you can encounter an enemy called Tenshi Archangels, and these things are nasty. If you can beat them, you get a lot of experience, but they can lay a pretty hefty smack down on you if you're not careful. Okay. Nothing that way, so I just wasted my time. Fucking and yours! Goals. Okay, now here you'll run into this little caged off area. But we can't get through there. Hmm, looks like we're gonna have to explore a little bit okay. more. Okay, continuing on. I think I want to check out this door first. And ghoulettes. Yeah, these things are just like regular ghouls, except ets. Not very threatening. But hey, they're a source of mag, so I could probably easily beat them by, my, by myself and farm mag off of them. Okay, hold on. As soon as I find what I need to find, we're going to be taken to the next area, so I want to be sure to explore things to the fullest. Ah, here we go. Uh, is this what I want? Yes, an intelligence incense. These are actually probably some of my more preferred incenses, as every point, every intelligence incense I use on myself, that's one less point I actually have to put into the stat. So now I can put it in, into something else and still be good at demon negotiation. Alright. Is this the other incense? Nope, but hey, mag. Oh crap, these are the demons I was talking about. Um, let's see, do I have anything that can beat them easily? Well, I can try st Well, they're not going to go this turn, but I might as well try it. I'll set up a Raku Kaja. Um, they got nothing good, and... Eh, we'll just go with this. Mahazianga is a really good spell because it has a high chance of shocking enemies and when an enemy shocked they can't do anything. Yeah these things have got high defense and they hit pretty damn hard. So you're gonna want to be careful. Keep using Mahazianga. It's a bit of a waste of MP but I'd rather uh, not die. That's understandable right? Okay, if I can, uh, I can probably just auto fight from now on and win. They're all fairly weak now. So let's go. Oh, geez, these things know Han, uh, I think. Basically, that's an instant kill spell, and, uh, well, it can't instantly kill everything, it can instant kill certain things. 
Okay, well, I think I'm going to end the video off here, and when we come back, we're going to explore the rest of this place and find what we're looking for. What are we looking for? Well, wait and find out. Don't be so impatient, seriously. So until next time, see ya.